So early, yo, this story takes place in 2010, man. I was incarcerated at one correctional um, institution. That's, um, I don't know if y'all go through my old videos and shit. That shit is like uh, a two minute walk from my house where I said, if I had to go through the path, cut through the park, I said a good four minute walk. I've been to that prison twice, yo. Yo, I was doing road squad and shit, or oh, road squad, picking up trash and shit outside the road. In prison, you have people that's laying around the dorm. Some people didn't have to work. You ain't, it ain't mandatory you work. Some worked around the prison and shit for us, like in the laundry room, motherfucking maintenance people. Maintenance people is the guys that kept the, the lawn cut, the bushes, the hedges trimmed, and so forth, and motherfucking just making sure the sewer lines and all of that shit straight. You had other people called bookkeepers, people that motherfucking make sure all the doors and shit have the proper games, board games for us, like Monopoly games and so forth. Then you had motherfuckers that worked in the kitchen. You had motherfuckers like me that worked on Rose Squad. Now, my first bid, I worked in motherfucking um, a program called ICP program. And I got my forklift license in that program because we did demolition work at a uh, at a facility right up the street from the prison, we uh, tore this bricks down and all of that shit. And this facility is basically like a janitorial plant, basically for all the facilities in North Carolina, on um, the prison facilities, um, your cleaning supplies and shit like that. But I did demolition work there, and I was driving the big forklifts, um, hauling some of the big blocks and shit to the back side of the building and shit like that. And Raleigh, some of the people we was work, working with was under a contract with Raleigh. So we um, they gave us a course and shit. And I passed that shit and got my forklift license. That was in 05. And we talking about 2010 now. So motherfucking, I had this job and shit. Well, road squad. So we get up early in the morning and shit. Go to, um, go to the get out assignment. Then we go to whatever road we're going to do the work on. It was never in the city limits because you had a chance of seeing your buddies, homeboys, somebody could have tried to help you escape. But why would they help you escape if you made it to honor grade? That's green clothes. I had done my brown clothes time. So I'm honor grade. I'm in green clothes and shit. So motherfucker, we used to do them country roads and shit, picking up trash and shit, so forth, whatever. Get to the dorm. I had a routine. I think in 09, in 09, the governor Bill Perdue stopped um, all tobacco products in North Carolina um, facilities and shit. So that shit was kind of rough a little bit too. But other than that, I was sneaking goddamn cigarettes in from um, off the roads and shit, like little cigarette butts and shit. Little do you know how 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 somebody will give their last just for a little bit of cigarette butt with the little fi the filter on that motherfucker. But anyway, long story short, so I'm the type I used to try to sleep my time away if I was bored. Like everybody running around playing, you might have a buddy or two that you go sit on this bunk and y'all kick it and laugh and joke, talk about the bitches and shit, lie about different whips you had and so forth. You get what I'm saying? That's just prison and shit. So I had my time was like, yo, I want to sleep. You get what I'm saying? So, motherfuckers, uh, they shut the phones down probably like at 10, 30 at night and shit. So, man, everybody walking around probably like at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, making their little soups, making their little swoles and shit. You don't know what that is, then don't go to prison and shit. But, um, motherfuckers running around laughing, joking and shit, making their last phone calls and shit. So, motherfucking, um, shit. I throw my head for, I take me a good shower and shit when I get from work. They probably have been a call for child, probably a little, some to five. You know, some of them guys don't go to child. Majority of the people I know don't go to child. Like, it's something about child I don't like. But it won't nobody sending me money. So, yo, you, I had to eat that stuff. That's in, in prison. I learned how to, uh, where I started eating okra. In the streets, you couldn't pay me to eat that shit. Squash. I was eating that shit. Oatmeal, grits, and stuff like that. So, um, 
long story short, um, around like eight ish, a little after seven is when like the radio station be playing them slow jams and shit. So you throw your headphones on and lay down for the night and shit. So they playing the old Key Sweat songs, the Anita Baker songs, the SWV, you know, the love making songs and the songs that get you all in your feelings thinking about. You get what I'm saying? So I used to fall asleep listening to a motherfucking. Who had this song? Pretty Wings. Pretty Wings. Pretty Wings. I'm thinking it was Maxwell. Yep. I used to fall asleep listening to that because they used to always play that shit like at a certain time and shit. But yeah, that Maxwell song, Pretty Wings, I used to fall asleep with my headphones on listening to that, right? So now, look, you go to sleep, right? Then you up early, probably like motherfucking 12 o'clock in the morning, 1 o'clock in the morning. Everybody else sleep, but you done been there already and got at least three, four hours of sleep. So now it's hard for you to go back to sleep, right? Oh, my God. Do y'all know I'll do this shit now if I'm staying with a chick. You would hear all types of motherfucking species of motherfucking snores like <laughs> motherfucker be shifting gears in their sleep, yo, with them snores and shit. I'm talking about that. Man, oh my god. Motherfucking shit sound like motherfucking <laughs> a deuce in the quarter, a beer a beard electric. Y'all don't know what a deuce in the quarter is, y'all Google that shit. I'm telling y'all. Motherfucker used to be like <laughs> like they shit for years and shit. A bear ain't got shit on these motherfuckers locked up. Big, big stinking fucking tail motherfuckers snoring and shit. But look, I used to couldn't stand it. That's my two things in life I can't stand. It's a motherfucker that smack on food and a motherfucker somebody that snore. So the prison I was at, I had. You, you got the lockers behind the bed and shit, right? So I used to have books on top of my lockers and shit. I, I read books in that motherfucker. I read motherfucking A Time to Kill. The movie is with um, Samuel Jackson. He plays the father. Um, they, um, I don't know if he killed these two white guys or he shot them because they... Um, they did something to his daughter on her way to the store. Now, this was like a racist during the racist time or whatever or something. And Samuel Jackson played his father. And I want to say Matthew McConaughey or what, however you pronounce his name, or it might not even be him, but it's one of them white actors that played um, his lawyer. And he a white man, so he represents Samuel Jackson and shit. That shit was a good-ass movie. But I read that book in there, and I read books like John Grissom or something. I think he was the author, if I'm not mistaken, John Grissom. But long story short, so I had books on top of my own um, thing, like the hard books and shit. I think I used to have like four or five of them, motherfuckers. You make noises, do all of that. Motherfuckers so into their sleep and shit, they ain't waking up and shit. You get what I'm saying? So what I used to do. I done did this like one time. I ain't gonna say like what I used to do, but I did this one time. But I made sure everybody was asleep. I'm like, all right, ain't nobody gonna, all right. I done motherfucking reached up on my locker and shit and pulled one book down at a time and shit. Then I stacked them in front of me. I stacked them up in front of me. Then I lift them up. I took both of my hands, had both of the, you know, had the books in both of my hands and shit. I lift, lift it up in the air, and you know when you have something in the air and shit and just let it go and hit like a hard surface, that shit going to cause like a boom and shit. So that's what I did. I, I lift the books up all the way toward the ceiling and drop them off. Them bitches hit the grill like, wow. That's what I did. I'm acting like I'm in La La Land sleeping shit, right? That's all you hear, motherfuckers getting up and shit, thinking that it's a shakedown. Because y'all know if y'all lock down and shit, they, they choose times to get you to catch you when you're vulnerable and shit. And the number one vulnerable time is when your ass lacking sleep. 
And that's when everybody thinking the prison guards coming in at the door shake down and shit, man. So motherfuckers heard that noise, motherfuckers like, yo, y'all get up, they doing a shake now. It was a shakedown, all right. The whole time it was some books there. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they were like, oh, they were like, hen. Cause look, they call you by your city. If they ain't familiar with your name, like you might have a name like Bartholomew or some crazy shit that motherfuckers can't pronounce and shit. So they'll just call you by your city and shit. Like, so motherfuckers be like, little hen, cause I'm from Henderson, North Carolina and shit. You might have several other motherfuckers from North Carolina. So it's pointless to be like, yo, North Carolina, then it, other people gonna look cause they from North Carolina. But yo, motherfuckers used to be like, little hen. So motherfuckers like, yo, little hen, get up. Man, they doing a shake now. I'm like this. <laughs> oh, shit. The whole time, they ain't even know I dropped them books and shit. But yo, I done told this story at least three times, but I'm gaining new subscribers and shit, and don't nobody want to be going through all a motherfucker content unless you're a likable, favorable person, though. But I need to start making more playlists like I used to so y'all can have... You know, shit can be in more order, but I done told these stories before, at least this probably like my third time, but this to the new subscribers that don't feel like strolling all the way down to check all the old videos and shit. But that's just a funny prison story and shit like that. Like, I ain't got to be on here talking about slashes and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I can tell a prison story that's still interesting and want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? But, sir, early...